Hi, I'm Mike Zipser from Fast Forward, and welcome to our first ever Skype interview. Our guinea pig, I mean our guest this time, is Alethea Contis. Alethea, thank you for uh, joining us. You are so very welcome. I'm happy to be the guinea pig. Yeah. And uh, so let's start by talking about the Woodcutter series, which, as you know, I'm a big fan of. And, yeah, and I understand uh, there's you have things going on in the f for the future of the Woodcutter series. I do. I was just at the Texas Library Association uh, doing a really great panel. It was amazing. The librarians there are fantastic. And of course, they always ask you the last question is, what's next? Um, and it's tough to talk about. I mean, my publisher was in the audience. It's tough to talk about the fact that they dropped me after the third book, you know? It's about numbers, it's nothing personal, but it's personal to me, and it's personal to my fans. And in a way, it's kind of become my firefly. So my brood squad's kind of like my brown coats, um, and I'm not gonna let them down, you know? I, I want this to go forward, and I have a story to tell. I have to tell the story, or the fa fairy tales will just drive me insane. So I went back and my, um, my guinea pig book is going to be Trickster, which is a novella that was based on a thread that I, they made me take out of Hero. I mean, New York, you know, they want you to pare things down and keep the pacing tight. So Trickster is effectively book 2.5, which yeah, it doesn't happen. But you know what? My fans don't care and neither do I. It's a story I have to tell. So It's, it's your books. You yeah. can do whatever you want now. <laughs> exactly. So I'm starting with the novella just to sort of get my uh, cover artist in order, get my copy editors lined up, work with my editor, who is my best friend from seventh grade. <laughs> oh, that's wild. <laughs> yeah. So just getting everything all set up. And it's so exciting. It's incredibly exciting. And freeing and joyful and fun and there's so much less waiting there's a lot more instant gratification um yeah i'm having the time of my life and and, and trickster is kind of the adopted member of the woodcutter family he's, he's the foundling he his story is actually based on a fairy tale called the foundling um of a babe found in the top of a tree uh, I don't think there's a relationship to the Rockabye baby, um, but maybe, maybe there is. So he's found in the top of the tree and then, you know, makes best friends with the youngest daughter and they have some magical adventures together. So yeah, Trix, while he was a foster child, was still very much loved and very much part of this family. And then you find out later, small spoiler, that his mother was actually Mama Woodcutter's sister. So he was part of the family anyway. But Trickster um, explains a little bit about why and how that all happened. So um, when do you think Trickster might be coming out and how will people find it? Uh, subscribe to my newsletter is the best thing. I know newsletters sort of went uh, passe for a while, but newsletters are back because Facebook just doesn't show you all the things you want to see anymore. So the best way to, to get all the information for all of my new releases will be my newsletter and my website, of course. Great. Now, something else that you do besides the, uh, the novels is... Um, oh, wait. Can I, can I show you something special? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Please. Hold on. I have uh, a sneak. We're not finished yet, but here's a sneak preview of the... Ah. Oh. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Great. I cannot wait. Okay, so sorry, back yes. to the other question. The, the other thing you do are, and you've been doing them for a while now, are your fairy tale rants. Yeah. yeah how I, long has that been going on? Um, gosh, when did I start? It was shortly after Enchanted, I think. Yeah. So 2012. Yeah, so, so it's there. been three years maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've done uh, 55 episodes, which is wow. hard to believe, but I'm... Uh, it's one of those things where when I want to learn about something, I just jump right in the deep end. I have no qualms about like this. Just yes, like just like this. Interview. Um, I wanted to do have a reason to do more research into the fairy tales. I, I never took any English classes. I was a chemistry major, as we've talked about before. So I needed to refresh my memory. There are so many fairy tales. So going back through them and writing all them all down and making notes. It was really great, but I wanted to be able to bring that to the kids today. And then when Enchanted came out, I realized how many were not familiar with the original fairy tales. 
And it made me sad because if you're not familiar with the fairy tales, you miss so many jokes in the Woodcutter <laughs> Sister series. True. Um, that part made me really sad. So I wanted to be more inclusive, be educational, um, and get more people involved in fairy tales. And they're fun. Not Disney fairy tales. And the, the rants are fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was especially helpful um, last year when I had that really tumultuous time when like everyone was dying and I was traveling all over the place. Um, so it's interesting to be able to see the thread of my life in the background behind all the, all of the different fairy tale rants. Um, it really did help me a lot. It kills me. I have to go on hiatus right now because I really need to throw myself into this into this publishing into trickster, thing. Yeah. Um, so but I we're... promised everyone. That I will bring them back after Dragon Con. In fact, Leanna and Leanna Renee Heber and I have a plan to do a live fairy tale rant at Dragon Con. Oh, cool! So that will be a lot of fun. I and hope. where where can people find the rants on YouTube? On YouTube, yeah. My username is Thiefdis, but I think if you look up Alethea Contest, yeah, you'll find that you'll too. Find it. Alethea, yeah. thank you so much for Thanks, for Mike. joining us like this, and um, I think this worked very well. Awesome. Love you guys. Thank okay. you. Okay. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.